Okay, so the problem that you sent to me was let alpha and beta be first quadrant angles with cosine of alpha equals square root of 5 over 10 and the sine of beta equals the square root of 5 over 8. Determine or find the cosine of alpha minus beta. What this is, requires us to do is take a look at oops, uh, the sum of difference identities, and there's a whole stack of them here. Um, there's a pattern to this, uh, which I went over in one of my videos, but um, the one we're looking for, since we're looking directly for cosine of alpha minus beta, we're going to use this one. And that informs us that we can rewrite this cosine of alpha minus beta. We can write, rewrite it as cosine alpha times the cosine of beta plus the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. Now, the problem provides us with the cosine of alpha, which is the square root of 5 over 10 but they don't give us the cosine of beta. We'll have to sort that out. They also do not give us the sine of alpha, but they do provide us with the sine of beta, which is square root five over eight. Now, if we take a look at square root five over 10 as information regarding angle alpha. So angle alpha will draw, they're in the first quadrant, so we know this. this is true. And they tell us that square root 5 over 10 is the cosine of alpha. So cosine means that we have a, the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So this would be the square root of, oops, the square root of 5 and the hypotenuse being 10. We can use the Pythagorean theorem, square root 5 squared plus y squared equals 10 squared. So this is 5 plus y squared equals 100 y squared equals 95, y equals square root of 95. Technically that's plus or minus, but we can't have a negative side length, so we'll have the square root of 95. So that means the sine, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, that means that the sine of alpha, right, we're looking for that right there. The sine of alpha is gonna be, since this is square root 95, the square root of 95, which is the opposite leg for alpha, divided by 10. Now we're going to scoot this up. We're going to do the same thing with the angle beta. And so that's angle beta. Angle beta was given to us, uh, or the information regarding angle beta was given to us in the form of sine of that angle is equal to square root 5 over 8. So this is square root 5. That's 8 because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. We're going to try to find that horizontal value, I'll call it x, using again the Pythagorean theorem. So we have uh, square root 5, that quantity squared, plus x squared equals 8 squared. So we get 5 plus x squared equals 64. x squared, 64 minus 5 is 59. And so x is equal to positive and negative square root 59, but we disregard the negative, it's an extraneous response. And so we get this, the cosine of beta to equal the adjacent leg, which we just determined was the square root of 59, divided by 8. So now, taking this, square root 5 over 10, times the cosine of beta, we just determined to be the square root of 59 over 8, plus the sine of alpha, which we just determined to be the square root of 95 over 10, times uh, the sine of beta, which we previously filled in as square root 5 over 8. And we get the following. The square root of 5 times 59, oof, uh, 60 times, that's 300 minus 5, should be 295. Should be square root 295 over 80, plus, that's going to be 80 as well. Square root 5 over ni uh, times 95. I'm not going to do that one in my head. I'm not even uh, 500 minus 25. I think that's going to be 475. I'm going to check both of these with the calculator. So uh, 5 times 59. 5 times 59, 295. And what was the other one? 5 times 95. 5 times 95. And we probably can, well, not probably. We know we can simplify these a little bit, so I'm not sure. Um, how mom's going to deal with that. It's not going to lie. Uh, so 475 can definitely be factored but to 25 and stuff. Uh, 295, I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to play around with that a little bit. 
but 475, let's divide that by 25. And we get 19, 19 is a prime, so that's good. So this is gonna end up being five square root 19 over 80. And let's play around with the 295 a little bit. 295, five is not gonna help. Well, if we divide it by five, we're gonna have 50. Oh, 59 is a prime, so that one's not useful. So and in fact, this, this, this work isn't useful either because um, I would just write it like this. Square root 295 plus the square root of 475, which I can't simplify if I'm writing it as, this, as that. So that would be my answer. So hopefully